We have an investigation after that infamous shooting at Fort Hood by Major Nidal Hassan. 13 people were killed, 32 were injured. And tonight, more than three years later, some of the victims have filed a lawsuit against the Army saying they're being victimized again. ABC's chief investigative correspondent Brian Ross gets answers, and we want to warn you that some of this video is graphic. At the State of the Union three years ago, President Obama arranged a hero's welcome for Fort Hood Police Sergeant Kimberly Mundley. She now says she feels used. Uh, betrayal would be a good word. Just a few months earlier, Mundley had been shot three times as she and her partner ended the deadly rampage. The chaotic aftermath seen here for the first time in a new video obtained by ABC News. Authorities say the accused shooter, Major Nadal Hassan, identified by victims as the man in this photo, had communicated with an Al-Qaeda leader and wanted to kill even more. He had um, over 177 rounds still left on his person. Munley, who has since been laid off, says the president broke the promise he made that the Fort Hood shooting victims would be well taken care of. Not to the, to the least little bit have the victims have been taken care of. Um, in fact, uh, they've been neglected very badly. So the president's promise was not fulfilled? No. What has so upset Munley and other victims and led them to file a lawsuit is the decision to deny the injured soldiers a Purple Heart, terming the Fort Hood shooting simply workplace violence. Recently retired Staff Sergeant Sean Manning, who still has bullets lodged in his body, says that means lower priority veterans medical care and a loss of tens of thousands of dollars in benefits. Basically, they're treating us like, you know, I was downtown and got hit by a car. The Army says it's not true that victims are being neglected. And Secretary of the Army John McHugh told ABC News the Purple Heart can only be awarded if the attack involves a foreign terrorist element. So to declare that soldier a foreign terrorist would have a potentially profound effect on the ability to conduct the trial. Are you satisfied with that, Secretary? I think I've answered your questions repeatedly. Republican members of Congress now say they will introduce legislation to require the victims to be given the benefits they say they are being denied. Brian Ross, ABC News, New York. And you can watch more of Brian's reporting tonight on Nightline at its new time, 12.35 a.m.